so guys i'm uh, with fundi duke he's the one making this he just told me that these are racks uh to be used for cctv cameras uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a lot of a lot of activities is taking place here at villa medellin and uh, fundi duke also has a channel i have Kindly. a channel by the name fundi duke yes. Kindly check me out fundi with f-u-n-d-y not i Oh, that's Ending great. with Y. Okay. Check so, I've just ambushed him. He is currently working. Right. You can see he's holding this welding machine. And this is the rack he's building. He's uh, welding. And uh, there are some metals here. So, uh, that is... Uh, uh, is that the tower? Uh, yeah, the tower. Yeah, that's the tank tower. From the other side, the, tank tower, the generator house, and also the in the middle, the, the soldier's house. There. Yeah, yes, guys. So let me uh, leave for the Duke to work, and then I take you around and show you what's going on. Thank you for the Duke for your time. Over this side, guys, this is the fish pond, right next to the Villa Medellin. You can have a view of it, and uh, I think uh, those are. Fingerlings, I think I'll have to go and interview the, the person concerned with the fish pond. It's Gintu. So this is the fish pond, guys. And uh, that is It's Gintu, the person concerned, the expert uh, of the, the fish pond. Uh, ma making sure that this fish pond is clean and uh, the fish are coming up very well. So you can hear the noise. That is uh, Fundi Duke over there working on the on uh, various jobs so this is uh, one of the compartment of the fish ponds the underground panza when mugumu when mugumu ka putege tege we me da we ando tuono so guys this fish is here uh it's going to it's going to install them going to put them in inside the fish pond yeah you can see so they are inside the this basin you can have a view of them that is the fish pond guys any fish that seems to be yeah, to, to have gone just uh, maybe suffocation yeah, we should remove it uh, before it dies so as we remain with the ones that are so strong so as they just wait for a marrow here yeah. for the launching the second launching of uh, the fish and the fish, fish pond yes guys yes, that is uh, it's been to the, the person concerned with the fish pond uh, so he's trying to uh, saving some of them from suffocation, placing them inside. Much as we want oxygen, so as far as uh, it should have so oxygen, the water should, change, should be having a lot of oxygen uh, after every one minute, so as uh, you maintain that oxygen rate and to this basin, so as they don't suffocate. Because, uh, uh, you know, the, the oxygen concentration to this basin is somehow small or. Uh, uh, not so the, the, the quantity that's just needed until this. Yeah, so you have to withdraw some water and uh, bring in fresh water that has full compacted oxygen from the source. Yeah, they just survive. There's a chica. Wow, you can touch it. Now the basin is full, they'll, they'll just attempt to go uh, uh, down. down. Think, yeah. yeah. Anyone looking to suffocate will be withdrawn from this basin as far as Costco. Yeah. Before they can just suffocate. We have the big ones here. You can see. We have big ones here. You can see them. And uh, for the first time, I have uh, uh, some uh, 
catfish. Do you know catfish? Yeah. Yeah, I have it Think here, but uh, yeah, then yeah. yes. Yeah, so they are like a snake, but they can also see a kudunga. Yes. But the yeah. majority of these are tilapia. Tilapia. Yes. Yeah. So so as uh, we can just uh, use them, so as they can just breed here. As so as you can now get yeah, because they, they breed very They fast. will control the breeding of this. Also fish. mosquitoes, they are good for mosquitoes. And mosquitoes. Yeah. So guys, uh, uh, that's the, the hint. Your... Catfish, yes. There's so no guys, that is the it's Gintu, the one concerned with the fish pond of Ayamwara Subida. And uh, he's gonna take a video with Ayam Marwa. So, he's just explaining what normally happens, trying to save some of the fish from uh, suffocation. Uh, so uh, over here you can see cleaning of the windows and uh, this is the ladder for the CCTV guys. Yeah man. Yes guy. This is Nekis Adventure. Nekis Adventure. Yeah man. Nekis Adventure. N-E-K-I-S. Uh, How are you bro? I'm good. So oh, what are you doing? Are you part of the, of the ICT team? We are done with the work so we were installing the CCTV camera. Uh, that's so we are now doing some our, our personal cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's your channel name? Huh? My channel name is DJ Ninja KE underscore KE. DJ and Ninja underscore KE. Yeah. So, every, every time you come to my channel, guys, tell me that you came from Ninja underscore KE. KE. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, guys. Yeah. You are doing the CCTV camera today? Yeah. We saw yesterday. Today, we were setting the cameras and doing some troubleshooting. And now the cameras are okay. They are working perfectly. Oh. The compound is secured now, yeah? Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I've, I've seen you walking around with uh, walkie talkies. Yeah, yeah. I've that that was for communication, one. yeah. Oh, for communication. communication, yeah. Just to ensure As that all oh, the cameras are working. You can communicate whenever you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. that, is, that is the word. Uh, that's great. So, you can guys. Go check on my YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You can go and check on my YouTube channel, The Mwangi Empire. Okay. And I'll appreciate for your subscription, yeah. Guys, thank, you. Uh, thank you guys. So these are some of the activities. You can see this is part of CCTV camera wire. And that guy is cleaning the window. Villa Medellin. So this is the front part of Villa Medellin. That is one of the cameras, CCTV cameras, closed circuit television cameras, uh, paintings here and there. The house looks so bright. Uh, that's one of the lights. Things are going on well, and I'm here. Hello, guys. Hello, family. Hello, our beautiful, beautiful subscribers. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Actually. I go by the name Ayama Subo. I'm just a content creator from this beautiful place of Ayamara, guys. Make sure you have just subscribed to this YouTube channel. That's the only support just requiring from you, guys. Thanks. Cheers. So, you can see on top there, they are working on the windows. Uh, yesterday, actually, uh, some visitors came in uh, with some goodies and. Uh, so far, several visitors have been coming in uh, from the other side. You can see tents and tents. Uh, this other guy is working here, painting, removing some uh, pick and paper. Yeah. Yeah. He has, uh, how will I put it? Sanding, sand, sand, I don't know. using sandpaper to make this place soft. At this moment, these are the activities taking place. That is where people are taking some snacks and uh, drinks. So this fund is very famous. Yes. You saw him in one of my previous videos. Yes. I'm still making this place to be bright. Yeah, Thank you, good. brother, for doing such an amazing job. I'm now doing Villa Medellin. I'm now working in lower part of the building. Yes. And uh, yes, now I'm now applying undercoat. Undercoat, yeah. yeah after the, thereafter, I'm gonna apply top coat. Top that coat. is water repellent. Oh, that's great. Yes. 
what I'm doing here. What I'm doing now is undercut. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Fine. Let us get together. So over this side, those are uh, uh, the, the, that's the area where snacks and uh, some refreshments are being sold. And that is uh, Cloud Joseph's brother coming in with uh, his motorbike. So guys, these are some of the uh, clothing so uh, apparel so of uh, the people working at the kitchen in the kitchen section uh, the guys who are making the blocks are no longer I've not seen them working on it for some for quite some time uh, so this is the kitchen area Guys, this is the kitchen that uh, was uh, can I put it makeshift kitchen uh, this is where they cook. They, well, it was set up to help in cooking. Okay, this is uh, sand. Uh, so Marwa is uh, making use of this place. They harvest the sand and then they uh, put it inside here over there that is the garden uh, i don't know whether this is a fence or what of late i've not seen from Maisa's video i love and watch and get to know the development that is taking place here you can see this and some some form of structure coming up being set up so those are some maize. Uh, this farm was coming up so well. Unfortunately, there was a time uh, there was a lot of rain and uh, it uh, destroyed some part of the crops. But everything else is going on well. Yeah. So guys, these are some of the timbers uh, that uh, were being used uh, for construction. Uh, as you can see, that is uh, one of the solar lightings. Sorry, sorry. It's Hosea. If I'm not wrong. What's up, guys? This I am underscore Hosea. Uh, thank you, brother, for hosting me. And uh, we are here at Vira Medellin. Uh, as you can see, I'm just trying to contact something here uh, so that we're gonna like a uh, business. So I asked our boss, our brother, Marwa, to offer me with some of the timbers to construct this, uh, like a, a table for some of the business. So. Oh, so you are removing some of the the nails and making everything in place so that you can. Uh, yeah. Construct uh, tables. So, yeah, just to construct the table. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, continuing working. Thank you. Thank you for hosting. Uh, welcome. And this is. Uh, the barn for the rabbits. You can see them inside there. They have been separated into two. Maybe one is pregnant. You can see here, these are some of the pipes. Waste pipes. In this section of the gate, this is where you will be welcomed when you get into Villa Medellin. Uh, some construction is still going on. It's just finishes. Finish finishes. So that is one of the gates and the gate I think it is a sliding gate. But there are those are some of the members from the kitchen department collecting plates and uh, other cutlery. cutlery. Cutlery crockery. Yes. Uh, 
uh, this is a uh, mortar cement uh, mixed with a uh, or rather let me put it concrete so actually guys when this gate is gonna be complete it's gonna be amazing it has something like a tower you can see over there at uh, in one of Mario's videos I heard him mentioning that uh, this top part can even be used uh, they can place beds in there so that uh, people can sleep in there it's amazing 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 Villa Medellin so guys this is the current situation on the ground coming to you live from Villa Medellin if you are at home kindly find your way in here remember this is uh, I think this is the fourth day of the party guys yes On that side, you can see Marwa doing some interview. Uh, that is a tra that is a pickup, cutting some of the construction materials, doors, and some cements. Security is tight here at the entrance. As you can see, this farm is the one manning this place. G2S security. Uh, no one enters here without uh, checking through them. Or one part of this gate, you can see uh, they are placing tiles. And that is Elia, the top mason. With I uh, also know this guy. Uh, I've, I've, I've just forgotten his name. Yes, Elia. So what is going on currently here? Nini kwenye hapo? So Elia is uh, plastering that place, uh, trying to work to, because. He is also a YouTuber, but he has to work really hard and make sure that uh, everything is going on well. Uh, Elia, apa kote kutai kwa tiles? Yeah. Uh, so I'm asking him if all, the whole of this gate is going to be tiled. And he's just saying yes. Uh, so this gate is going is going to be a uh, sliding gate. You can see the rails down there. Yeah, it's work under progress. Over that that side, there are some vendors uh, selling some sugar cane. When this place is gonna be complete, man, it's gonna be something else. So stick around, guys. Behind me, guys, that is Gintu explaining to Marwa uh, some of one, two things and uh, other content creators are busy around him trying to look for content you know this is a youtube village and a youtube home so most of us who are in here are youtubers each one and every one of us is trying to look for some content <laughs> So the competition will be so high wow. here because uh, when you just uh, feed them here, uh, uh, you know, if they just concentrate, there's the young ones here, there are brood fish, there are big fish. So, okay. the competition so that is high. it's going to so trying to explain one or two things. I'm late here. I don't know what's going on. Huh? Oh, I see. So I just have one type of one type. Yes. Yeah. That's no, what we talk about. Yeah. yeah. My question is, how many fishes can this fish pond contain? It can just have up to five hundred. Five hundred. Yes. That's the entire up to the other. The last no, 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 no. This one only. So the entire place that you constructed. Uh, the entire should have like a, a one thousand to three hundred. Wow. Yes. Let's imagine I can fit one thousand three hundred fish just around <laughs> my house. And after a one year, you'll have like a, a one hundred thousand. Oh, because they will multiply. 
Uh, yeah, so that is it's going to uh, shooting a video with Ayamaro uh, trying to explain one or two things what's happening over there. Thank you guys for staying tuned at, up to this moment. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscription button, like this video. Thank you. See you next time.